Homelessness is an issue that lawmakers and local leaders are constantly trying to find solutions for. Many tactics have been used, trying to get people off the streets and into more permanent and stable housing. Going deeper tonight, today Denver opened its newest city-sanctioned campsite. The new safe's outdoor space is located off South Federal Boulevard in 2nd, about 10 blocks south of Empower Field. You, it can accommodate 60 people in both small trailers and tents and includes bathrooms and showers. Colorado Village Collaborative planned to eventually build permanent affordable housing on that site. Douglas County and Aurora are now debating how to handle the homeless population there. The way Douglas County is handling it, though, isn't sitting right with Aurora's mayor. Denver 7's Micah Smith is live now, and Micah, Aurora's mayor, Mike Kaufman, now is taking action. Shannon, that's right. After Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman made a Facebook post this morning accusing Douglas County of sending its homeless population out of the county and into the city of Aurora for shelter and resources, we went in search of answers. When a person is released from the Douglas County Jail and have no home to go back to, Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman says those former inmates end up in his city. What Douglas County is doing is wrong. Kaufman says recently the Douglas County Sheriff's Office launched a reintegration and transportation program, which transports recently released inmates to other cities and counties with more resources. The problem is Sheriff Tony Spurlock was left in a difficult position. According to him in my discussions with Sheriff Spurlock, about 15% of his uh, inmate population in the county jail uh, are homeless. And that he's, he just simply is in a position where if he just puts them back, releases them, uh, and then they're simply going to be on the street. Spurlock could not be reached for comment, but we talked to Douglas County Commissioner Abe Layden, who created the county's homeless initiative. We are, are actually housing a lot of uh, inmates from other counties, and with the, the siege statute, there's a requirement that the other counties, when those individuals that are incarcerated leave the Justice Center, that they are returned back to those counties. Despite the county's lack of emergency shelters, Layden says the county does provide services for those in need, and the Homeless Initiative has partnered with 60 community organizations. During a recent town hall, many residents spoke out against building shelters. But legally, law enforcement cannot shut down encampments if there are no shelters nearby. I have no interest in a tent city. I have no interest in a creating a residential community. Um, for people experiencing homelessness. What, if we do something around sheltering, it really would be more of an initiative center. While Douglas County commissioners consider their options, Kaufman says he's asking Aurora City Council to stop Douglas County from sending people experiencing homelessness to Aurora. I'll be putting forward a, a resolution that it will say that we will then request of our state legislative delegation to um, put forward legislation in the next uh, session of the, of the um, General Assembly that would prohibit uh, one jurisdiction from transporting its homeless to another jurisdiction. Mike Kaufman says Aurora taxpayers pay for the city's homeless outreach programs and shelters. And Kaufman says even though there is a portion of Aurora that's in Douglas County, it's a very small residential portion. Shannon, back to you. All right, Micah Smith, thank you for that. What's a tough one? And during this past legislative session, there were several bills passed addressing homelessness in our state. One will invest $178 million on affordable housing. The other gives $105 million to grants for homeless support projects. Colorado is also using $50 million in federal relief money to build a large homeless resource center in Denver. The state still needs to determine just where that will be and when it will be up and running.